and that's getting a radiogram. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know what? Gotten, how many people have gotten a radiogram? I have. I, I, I got uh, one when I first got my license. Yep. Okay. Same here. Yeah, I haven't got one in a year. They maybe still ago. do that. There, there's a new, uh, some changes coming to the national traffic system. But the problem that I, I'm getting at here is what I'm, uh, I'm from what I'm reading. And I'm, I'm kind of, I've always, I did a big, um, a podcast on this, I don't know, earlier this year or late last year on it. And there's Radio Relay International. And I really, I'm almost tempted to reach out to them and and either get somebody on there on my podcast talking about it, or I'm just going to go join it myself and become part of the national traffic system because it, it, it's really crazy. I've heard a couple stories where someone said, Hey, I've got my brother out in Illinois, whatever. I can't get a hold of him. And so I'm wanting to know if somebody could, I could pass a message on to him that. You know, so and so has you know died, or, or or I need to get, have him have him call his sister or brother, whatever it was, and um, you know, you can use the ham radio, you know, national traffic system to pass a message on like that, as long as you know an address or or a phone number or something. But you know, if the phones were down or anything else, um, and and maybe you know he's not checking his email for some reason, then you know this is a good way to be able to do it. But the problem with it is there's still <laughs> limited people. Uh, participating in the national traffic system 